Hey guys, so this will probably be the last video from me this year, so thank you for sticking with me. I know it's been a very uh, weird schedule from me. In today's video, as the title suggests, I'm going to show you everything I got for Christmas this year. Now, as I say in all of these videos, this video is not meant to, you know, show off or anything like that. It's just to show you guys what I got, because I know you guys uh, like to see it. Uh, so, you know, um, you know what my mum's like, she does go over the top sometimes. <laughs> But without further ado, let's just get on. This is everything I got for Christmas this year, and I'm so, so, so grateful. So we'll start with toiletries. This bag here, if you have me on any social media, you'll know that we saved our advent calendars for Christmas Eve, so we could open them and have 24 presents each Christmas Eve. So as you can see, I'm not going to take them all out. I got the Harry Potter Boots advent calendar. So we've got bath bombs in there, um, nail polish, uh, what else do you get in there? A face mask and some other bits. And this also has Carl's advent calendar bits in it as well. I got Britney Spears uh, Fantasy Circus perfume. It's one of my favourite smells. This soap and glory tin set. I got quite a few bath bombs this year. <laughs> I got, uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I got some makeup y bits. This Deathly Hallows palette, which technically should have been in the Harry Potter section, but I've put it in the toiletries section. This is an eyeshadow palette from Boots, I believe. And there's the colours. Then all these miscellaneous bath bits, I mean the obligatory links there, <laughs> some sprays and some other bits. A Harry Potter cauldron bath bomb, which is so cute. And finally for bath stuff, I can't really show you because they'll go everywhere, but Carl bought me some Lush bath bombs. Oh, I just love Lush and honestly, I wish there was smell-o-vision because that's all you can smell in this room now. But I think there's five Lush bath bombs and a, a foot scrub and a shower gel, I think. So onto some miscellaneous stuff. I got this notebook of the Hex Girls from my best friend Katie. I am a huge Scooby-Doo fan and I love the Hex Girls, <laughs> so I love this. Carl got me this little thumper at uh, you. So um, he asked if they did any other letters and unfortunately the thumper only came in a U. But I do collect thumper stuff and I'm really, really happy with this. It's super cute. Next up, I got this jewellery set. So this was from my mum. I got this keyring from Katie and on the back it says dream it, believe it, achieve it, which is really, really cute. I got this slush puppy set because uh, I'm obsessed with slush puppies and to go with that, oh, oh it's heavy, I got some more syrups. I just, oh, I love slush puppies. Then this super, super cute earring set. Next up is this coffee topper collection. Now, I don't drink coffee, but Carl does. However, you can use these on hot chocolates and other things. So you get vanilla sugar, cinnamon topper, cocoa uh, sprinkles and cocoa powder. So I will be making a lovely hot chocolate with those. And this is, um, you put it on top, don't you, to make your design on top of your coffee. Next up is this super cute thumper mug and soft set. Too cute to care. I think that's so cute. I also got another bunny mug this time, uh, just a regular bunny, not thumper, but I think it's adorable. If you watch the house tour, you'll know why this has significance. <laughs> now this was technically a, a gift for, uh, that was my mum's, uh, someone bought her a diffuser, but she doesn't actually uh, like reed diffusers, so she gave it me, so it's an extra little gift that was actually a present for mum. <laughs> Next up, excuse the background, but this is a giant thumper plush. Look at it compared to my hand. I love him. <laughs> so moving on to Batman items, I got three Batman related things this year. Gotham season four and five. So I now have all of the Gotham box sets. Which is really handy because, side note, me and Carl are watching Gotham. He's watching it for the first time, I'm re-watching it. And we're on to the final season. We've been watching it on Netflix and it's been a nightmare, been buffering like crazy. So we're so super, super happy to have the DVD now. And the last Batman-related item is this gorgeous Poison Ivy bust from Batman the Animated Series. And here she is. I just love her. I'm not going to show you too much here because I think I might do a review of her because I already have a Catwoman bust downstairs. So I'm going to show you a little side by side and maybe do a review of her in the future. Moving on to Pirates of the Caribbean. I got one Pirates of the Caribbean Funko Pop this year and it is Captain Salazar. This is my first Pirates Funko Pop. Then on to Merlin. My mum very kindly finished this set for me. So the only Merlin action figure I had was Gaius. So now I have the lot. So I have Arthur. Kilgara the dragon. Again, I might do a review of these in the future. Merlin himself, Morgana, Guinevere, and Uther. 
We've also now finished my Merlin DVD collection, so this is the complete fourth season and the complete second season because I had all the others, it was just four and two I was missing. On to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I got the complete set minus Angel of the reaction figures. So we have the Gentleman, Oz, Buffy, Willow and Spike. Next up I got this coat, which is brilliant because I needed a new coat. I got an insane amount of sweets and chocolates. I'm not going to run out for ages. So I'm going to flick through all of my sweets and chocolates that I got really, really quickly. So that's all the chocolates and sweets. As you can see, I'm going to be really, really fat. <laughs> and Carl bought just about as much home from him as well. So we've got a lot of chocolates and sweets for the year. Next up, I got quite a lot of Game of Thrones stuff this year, thank you very much. So we have this Lord Varys Funko Pop, Bran Stark Funko. Oh, just knocked the camera. I prob Sorry about that. I probably should have said spoilers, but Daenerys and Jorah Funko. I think that's amazing. Sorry if I've just spoiled some for you. Then we have this incredible The Mountain Funko Pop, which I just put Bran in front again, but as you can see, it's a little bit taller. We have the Hound's Helmet. Again, I'm not going to show these in too much detail because I might do reviews on some of these. The Tyrion Lannister 5 star figure. That's what he looks like. This Game of Thrones card game House Tyrell intro deck. As you know, I am House Tyrell. The Cersei Lannister rock candy. I believe that's the last rock candy I needed to complete Game of Thrones. This House Stark notebook. Sorry about the glare. A White Walker Funko Legacy figure. As you know, I've got quite a few of these and I just love them. Another Legacy figure, this time Cal Drogo. I think this is incredible. And again, probably reviews are coming up. Then we have the Oathkeeper Collectible Sword. The Stark Direwolf. And finally for Game of Thrones, the Three-Eyed Raven. Moving on to DVDs, we have American Horror Story Hotel. I already had the first four, Murder House, Asylum, Coven and Freak Show. So we have almost completed the collection. So I have Hotel, Roanoke, which I hate to be honest, I don't like that season, but you need them for the collection, Cult and Apocalypse. So the only one I'm missing is 1984, which I don't know if he's, is even out yet. <laughs> And then I have all, almost all of the Criminal Minds DVDs. I'm so, so grateful to have these. So I already had one to four. So Mum got season five, six. Again, I'm going to flip through them really quickly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I love Criminal Minds. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14. So the only Criminal Minds I'm now missing is the final season, season 15, which again wasn't out on DVD yet, so that's why we couldn't get it. Next up is this gorgeous fluffy pair of slippers. This was a jokey present given to me and Carl by my mum, but it's a Ring of Fire roulette game, hot sauce. I'm really scared. So the next items I'm about to show you were technically not Christmas presents, but were bought with Christmas money. Uh, me and mum went to town uh, the day after Boxing Day uh, to spend our Christmas money. So I got this Miss Bunny from Primark and her nose lights up. I think this is really cute. <laughs> this Melanie Martinez uh, after school EP CD. This handbag from Primark. The Vampire PlayStation 4 game. I've heard good things about this. Gin of Thrones. This Game of Thrones book of facts, the unofficial one. The Tudors. This book looks amazing. A cardigan, which I can't show you very well, but it's just a cardigan from Primark. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is for Carl. Call of Duty Ghosts. Brave on the PS3. That's for me. <laughs> then we got the complete uh, seasons of Peaky Blinders. We're going to start these soon, I promise. And that's all, oh sorry, and that's all the presents uh, we got with our birthday, uh, with our birthday, with our Christmas money. <laughs> I got the customary Christmas Eve uh, pyjamas, which say Nap Queen, and I did get another cardigan and a couple of tops for Christmas, but unfortunately I've already put them away, so I can't show you. So the boiler's just come on, but I forgot to show you, I got these, oh, there's a mark on them, that's just a bit of fluff. Uh, I got these uh, high-heeled shoes as well, these sparkly um, gold ones. I couldn't think of the colour then, what an idiot. But yeah, I got these high heels. So now on to the Harry Potter presents. So first up are these Harry Potter trainers. They have a golden snitch on the side and I just think they're really, really cool. 
Then for my mum's friend we have this giant wooden undesirable number one poster. So I'll just put my hand on it for reference. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. Next up we have this tablet case which was from my best friend Katie who says I know you don't have a tablet but can be used for something else. Well it will be, this is what my Nintendo Switch is going to go in so thank you Katie. So next up, in, ignore the buffy stuff in the background, but I have this mandrake and I think it's amazing, it's so cool. I don't know if it's switched on but when you pull it out it actually does uh, make noises. So as you hopefully just heard, it makes noises and it vibrates. I just think it's amazing. Next up, Carl got me the Lego Harry Potter collection for the Switch. So this is years one to five and years five to seven. One to four, sorry, and years five to seven. As you've probably seen before in my other video game collections, I do already own this game on some other consoles, but this is remastered for the Switch. And although I own the game, uh, copies of the game a few times, I've never actually played the Lego Harry Potter games. So this will be my first go round. So next up, I really, really like this. I mean, I like everything, obviously, but I've been after this for a while. It is a Dumbledore's Deluminator from the Noble Collection, if I can get it out. So this is the Deluminator, and it does do that, as you can see. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell with the light on. Oh, you can, actually, but yeah. That's the Deluminator. Then we have this Hogwarts Sorting Hat Pen. A Magic Cube 2020 desk calendar. We have a wand here. And it is the Death Eater Thorn wand. I believe that's uh, the official name for it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I really do like it. You can tell these are um, different to the ones that you can get in the studio tour. They are plastic, but I think it's really, really cool and definitely a cheaper alternative than something like the studio tour. I do want to apologise if you can hear background noise, by the way. I'm not used to a boiler in the room, so that noise uh, is the boiler. But next up we have my final Funko Pop of the video, and that is the Chupacabra from Crimes of Grindelwald. I think he's really cute, Antonia. <laughs> Then Katie bought me and Carl these super cute glasses uh, as a couple's present, so she's a catch and he's a keeper. I think that's so, so cute. Then we have this Bellatrix the Strange figure, the hero uh, collector figures. I have uh, took this out, taken this out of the box, sorry, so the you're not... You don't, oh, I can't get my words out, you don't normally see the booklet, but I have taken this out of the box. Uh, again, I will probably do reviews on these in the future, so I'm not going to show you too much, but I really, really like this figure. Up next, we have some mystery minis. Now, I actually got quite a few of these, but I've only kept the one box. They're all in here. Normally, um, I would do an unboxing of the mystery minis, but this year, I decided I just wanted to open them, so I'll show you what I got, but unfortunately, there's no opening of them this year. So the four figures I got are Victor Crumb. He's super, super cute. I now have all four Hogwarts champions in this set. Actually, I'm not looking for very many in this set. I'll tell you at the end. I got Mrs. Norris. And what was funny was, which, oh, which I'm about to uh, show you in a minute, I also got a double Mrs. Norris, but I've had quite a few of these mystery minis in the past. And apart from these two doubles on Christmas Day, all the others I got are not doubles, they're, they're brand new. But this is the last one, it is Mad Eye Moody. So I was quite impressed that the ones that I managed to get on Christmas Day were brand new, even though there is two of the same there. Um, so I will just, oh, sorry, I will just quickly flick back to the box with you. So we have Harry, Cedric, Fleur and Victor Crumb, I have all of those, sorry it's blurry. We have Argus Filch, who I don't have, um, so Argus Filch I need from this set. Mrs Norris, Draco and Crab, who I already have. Then we have Goyle, who I need, and then Mad Eye Moody, Rita Skeeter and Umbridge, who I need. So I only need three figures from this set now. Up next we have this Harry Potter eraser. Then we have this Harry Potter 2021 diary, which is super cute. This Harry Potter notebook. Now, I can't remember which one's which, sorry, but one of these is from Ian. I can't remember which one it was, Ian, but I know one of these was from you. Um, or it could be this one, hang on, I've got another notebook. Um, this 
premium A5 uh, Death Eater notebook. I know that Ian gave me one of these, but I can't remember which one it was. I'm so sorry, Ian, but thank you very much. Ian also gave us lots and lots of sweet treats, so thank you so much for your presence as well, Ian. Next we have these two Harry Potter wand pens, Harry and Hermione. Now this is the tin from Boots, I believe, so I've already shown you some of the things that came in this. I think the bath bomb came in this, the cauldron bath bomb. There's also a selection of other things in here. Um, so we have some nail polishes. This didn't come with it. This is a Horcrux locket, which I believe was also uh, given to me by Ian. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this was also a present from Ian. So thank you. We have some sheet masks here. And there. Um, I don't know what else came in this set. We have some stickers. So some, I think, I think all of this is from the set, but I have mixed things up. We have a face mask. And I don't know if that came with it or if that's something different. I really, unfortunately, I can't remember what actually came in the tin and what didn't because I have mixed them up, so I'm really sorry about that. And then this was in the tin, but I don't think it came with the tin at all, to be honest. No, it must not have done because it's got a um, thing on it. So this is something else from the Boots range, and it's the Slytherin Cosmetic Purse. Up next, again from Boots, I actually have the three pack of the sheet masks. I'm really debating. I don't know whether to use them or not. I just, I don't know. But there's um, Bellatrix the Strange in this one. And then these two you get in the big set as well. Uh, Lucius Malfoy and Barty Crouch Jr. Up next is another Harry Potter pen, this time the Golden Snitch. This Harry Potter sticker set, 50 stickers. This Hogwarts 2021 calendar, but we found it interesting that it was 16 months. I don't think I've ever had a 16 month advent calendar before. Next up from the Noble collection is Mad Eye Moody's flask. And if you press this, the flask does open. I think this is really lovely. It'd be lovely for a little display. Uh, we did discuss with each other that it's not as good um, as we thought it would be in terms of production quality because Noble Collection are known for their amazing production quality. They always have been. And this particular item we don't think is as good as others. So I'm not saying I'm ungrateful or anything. Please don't take that the wrong way. I'm not. I'm really thrilled to have it. It's on the company themselves. I don't know if their quality has gone down a little bit. I'm not sure. But this just doesn't seem as good quality as a lot of the other items that I've either owned from Noble or seen other people own. I just don't know. Um, Mum agreed with me, but I still really, really like it, and I'm happy to have it for the collection. Next up, I think this is probably, I don't want to say, but I think this is probably one of my favourites um, for Christmas, is this Crimes of Grindelwald, um, Grindelwald figure. Now, I'm not, it, you can't see him very well, but he is stunning. I will 100, 100% do a review on him, because he's incredible. He's a one-tenth scale statue, and wait till you see this statue. I genuinely, I think he's incredible. I can't, this camera really, to quote Daniel, really doesn't do him justice. I think he's incredible and uh, I will show you the back quickly but I will definitely definitely do his own review because he's he's I can't he's stunning he's the best statue I've ever seen representation wise looks exactly like Johnny Depp and I just think he's brilliant and this really made my day actually because I'm not going to get into it too much but with all the controversy surrounding Johnny Depp and what's happened with Fantastic Beasts it made me feel really really awful about getting these things for Christmas and you know all that kind of stuff but this is one of my ways of supporting him and I know it's technically supporting Warner Brothers as well um, and it's a shame really that, that all this has happened but this really really made me smile and it's I'm just sad about the whole situation really but this statue is gorgeous and I can't wait to show you it properly and the final item and tied for my favourite item of this year, it's incredible, is another item from the Noble Collection and now you'll see what I mean, I don't know if you'll pick it up on the camera, but the quality of this versus the quality of the Mad Eye Moody flask, although I am happy to have the flask, my favourite is the crystal 
goblet from Harry Potter. I've always, always wanted this ever since it first came out and I've never been able to have it. Uh, there is some polystyrene in there, don't worry, it's not chips. I'm so happy to have this. So if you don't know what this is, in the Order of the Phoenix, not in the Order of the Phoenix, what an awful fan, in <laughs> Half-Blood Prince, um, when they're in the Horcrux cave and Harry has to make Dumbledore keep drinking. I just think this is stunning. I absolutely love it. Again, I'll probably do its own review because this really needs its own review. It's, it's, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. It's hefty and it's everything that you want from a Noble Collection item. So this is my last item of the haul and the last item for Christmas. So thank you so much uh, to everyone who got me a gift. You don't know how much I appreciate it. I appreciate it so, so much. Again, this video, as you know, as I've said before, it's not to show off at all. I'm not... I would be happy to have one gift. Honestly, I would. And it's overwhelming, the fact that people do this. It's overwhelming. And I know there's a lot here. But <laughs> me and mum, we do start in January for next year. You know, we take this, we take this shit seriously. <laughs> so yeah, I, in fact, I have already started for next year. I just can't help myself. But thank you very, very much for watching. Um, and I hope you guys had a brilliant, brilliant Christmas, despite the circumstances. I hope I can see some of you next year. That would make... That would make my year, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new year, as best we can, guys. Let's keep pushing through, and let's get on. So thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you all next year. Bye-bye.